Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Knowing the Truth, where we dive into the Word of God and we let God and we let His Word reveal to us the truth on a lot of different subjects, such as healing, such as uh, how to get to heaven, if we have eternal life, all kinds of things like that. This week's episode, we're going to be talking about the only way to heaven, and we're going to find out how to get to heaven, and that there is not all kinds of different ways. There is only one way to heaven, and we're going to see what the Bible says about that. And the scripture that we're going to be looking at today and letting the Word of God reveal itself and answer its, uh, its own questions is out of John chapter 14 and verse 6. It says this, Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Now that was Jesus's words. I'll read it one more time. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So here it is, a very simple truth because lots of people out there today are saying there's many ways to heaven. There's, uh, you can take your own path to heaven. You can do this, you can do that. You could be a good person, believe in Buddha, believe in Muhammad, not believe in anything at all and still go to heaven. And I'm here to tell you this boldly, that the word of God is very, very strict and very, very clear on this thing right here. And Jesus was very, very, very clear. <laughs> he says this right here. He says that he is the way, the truth, and the life. When you say you're the way, that means that there is only one way. And Jesus is saying it is only through him. And just like last week's episode, we talked about eternal life and how to get eternal life. And it's through believing in your heart that Jesus is the son of God. Believe that he died on the cross and rose again from the dead and conquered death. If you can believe that and know that he's still alive today. And if you confess him as your Lord and Savior and give him your life. Jesus is saying right here, it's very simple and a very strong truth. He says that he is the only way to heaven. So don't believe the lies of the enemy. Don't believe the lies of this world. Well, they'll try to tell you that there's many different ways to heaven. Don't even worry about that because usually when there's confusion and when there's all kinds of different answers and things going on, who's it coming from? It's coming from the master of confusion, the devil. He wants you to be confused. He wants you to keep on asking all these questions. That's why Jesus came along and he sent the spirit of truth. He sent the Holy Bible to us so that we can know the truth and that the truth will set us free and that it'll be very simple that there is one answer and it is Jesus Christ and him alone. And he is the only way to heaven. Again, that's found out of John chapter 14, verse six. That is not my opinion. That is just simply my belief and what Jesus says in the Bible. And it's very, very clear what, again, what the Bible says is what it says. It's not, there's no gray area. It's either black or it's white. It's either wrong or it's right. It's either truth or it's false. And the truth is, Jesus said it right here, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody can get to the Father except through one man, and his name is Jesus Christ and him alone. So if you can, share this with as many people as you can. Share this with non-believers. Share this with people that are asking questions. Share this with somebody who is just born again and just saved and they still have questions about this, about how to get to heaven and things like that. And let them know that Jesus, he is the only way, the only truth, and he is the only life, and he is the only way to the Father, not through anything else. Okay. I hope this blesses you guys. Again, please like this video because what that does is that causes it to get seen by more people, the more it's liked. And if you can, share it with as many people as you can because we like to get the word out there and we would like for as many people as we can possibly get to, we would like them to know the truth and let the truth set them free. Like it says in John chapter eight, verse 30 and 31 and 32. Okay. So God bless you guys. I hope you have a good day and I am looking forward again to seeing you in the next episode of Knowing the Truth. So know the truth and let the truth set you free.